Welcome to Physical Education at Beacon Academy. My name is Mrs Carney and I'm Head of PE. We run a very successful department of 10 PE teachers. Our intent is to give students the knowledge which will enable them to have the physiological, cultural and psychological benefits of a long life engagement in sport and physical activity. At Beacon Academy, we offer the OCR Cambridge Technical Diploma in Sport in years 12 and 13. The course setup means we have three possible options for delivery of this course. The first is a double award over two years, which is the equivalent of two A-levels. You would have 10 hours a week and you have to study 11 units in total. We also offer the single award over two years, which is worth one A-level. This you would have five hours a week and five units in total are studied. The final option is a single award over one year. That would be 10 hours a week and you would cover all five units. As part of the CTEC double award, there are three external exam units. Unit one, body systems and the effects of physical activity. Unit three, sports organisation and development and Unit 4, Working Safely in Sport. Two of these exam units are studied in Year 12 and one in Year 13. We use practical exam questions, we make flashcards, we create mind maps, we use past practice papers and we use scaffold sheets to try and help students learn this material in preparation for their exam. There are eight coursework units. Each of these is quite unique in its own setup but does involve written tasks, some practical assessments, verbal presentations, coaching younger gear groups and planning those sessions that they're going to lead. Unit 2, Sports Coaching and Activity Leadership. This unit will give you an understanding behind the theory of what makes good sports coaches and activity leaders and methods that can be employed to improve the performance of participants. You will explore the roles and responsibilities of coaches and leaders and how these differ from each other and others involved in delivering and teaching sport and physical activity. The main part of this unit is related to you developing the skills and understanding necessary to effectively plan and deliver a series of sports or activity sessions, reflecting on your own practice and using this feedback to improve your performance as a sports coach or activity leader. Unit five. Performance Analysis in Sport and Exercise This unit will give you the skills and knowledge required to carry out performance profiling and analyse and deliver feedback to the performers in a manner that is suitable for them. Unit 8 Organisation of Sports Events This unit is designed for you to develop in planning, promoting and delivering a sports event with a focus primarily on your individual role as well as working as part of a team and reflecting on your input and future personal development. This unit will enable you to establish transferable skills which can be used within sport and active leisure as well as linking with the fitness industry. It will also enhance skills such as teamwork, organisation and safeguarding awareness. Unit 11. Physical activity for specific groups. This unit will allow you to develop a knowledge and understanding of the different groups of individuals who would benefit psychologically, physically and sociologically from participating in physical activity and why these particular groups are targeted by initiatives. This knowledge and understanding will then support you in planning suitable physical activity sessions for the groups identified and the considerations that need to be taken into account for each of them. Unit 13, Health and Fitness Testing. In this unit, you will learn a range of fitness tests, what they test and their advantages and disadvantages. You will learn how to complete client consultations, which will give you the background knowledge you need about a client 
to be able to plan and deliver appropriate fitness tests. You will then learn how to interpret the data acquired from the fitness tests and how best to feed this back to the client so that they can go on to make informed decisions about their health and fitness training. Unit 17, Sports Injuries and Rehabilitation. This unit will teach you how to recognise and treat common sports injuries, both immediately and through long-term rehabilitation programmes, the possible psychological impacts of sports injuries and how to minimise the risk of sports injuries occurring in the first place. Unit 18, Practical Sports. This unit gives you the opportunity to participate in a number of different sports and outdoor adventurous activities, which allows you to experience first-hand situations that participants you may later be coaching or leading will come across. In this unit, you will learn how to apply skills, tactics, techniques, and knowledge in individual sports, team sports, and outdoor and adventurous activities, which will allow you to participate effectively, safely and enjoyably. Unit 19, Sport and Exercise Psychology. In this unit, you will learn different motivations that people have for participating in sport and exercise and how performance can be managed through an understanding of the attribution theory, stress and group dynamics. You will also learn the impacts that participation in sport and exercise can have on a person's mental health and well-being, whether an elite performer or a member of the general public. 